Welcome to Hall of Faith channel. Please subscribe, comment, like, share, and press the notification button. Have you ever wondered about the man who significantly influenced American religion in the 19th century, Charles Grandison Finney? Imprinted in the annals of American history, Charles Finney's career was nothing short of extraordinary. This remarkable journey took him from a revivalist with international fame to a professor and finally the president of a unique educational institution. His controversial doctrine of Christian perfection marked him as an advocate and defender of the faith, leaving a significant imprint on American religion. Charles Finney was born in the picturesque town of Warren, Connecticut in 1792 into a family with deep New England roots. When he was just two years old, his family decided to move to New York State. It was here in the central and northern parts of the state that Finney would spend his formative years. His family eventually settled down in Henderson, near the shimmering Lake Ontario, where Charles spent most of his adolescent years. As he transitioned into adulthood, Finney made the decision to study law. He began this pursuit under the guidance of Benjamin Wright, a lawyer based in Adams, New York. Aside from his legal ambitions, Finney was also an amateur musician with a fondness for the cello. He led the choir at the local Presbyterian church, pastored by the Reverend George W. Gale. It was during this period that Finney felt the pull towards a spiritual journey. He realized he needed to address the question of his soul's salvation. One day, he found himself alone in the woods, wrestling with God in prayer. The experience was so profound that he described it as waves of liquid love washing over him. This dramatic event would later make him impatient with those who could not testify to a similar transformative experience. The very next morning, a client walked into the law office inquiring about his case. To the client's surprise, Finney announced his decision to abandon his law career and become a preacher of the gospel. His path was set, and his life was about to change in unimaginable ways. But a dramatic event in the woods would change the course of Finney's life forever. Charles Finney's life took a dramatic turn during a solitary prayer session in the woods. This moment was a pivotal point in his life that would forever change his trajectory. In the midst of his law studies, Finney decided that he must settle the question of his soul's salvation. He ventured alone into the woods, knelt by a log, and earnestly wrestled with God in prayer. This encounter was so profound and transformative that he experienced what he later described as waves of liquid love flowing through his body. The experience was so powerful, so vivid, that even in his later years he recalled it with intimate detail. This dramatic event sparked a fire in Finney, a fire that made him impatient with those who could not testify to a similar conversion. It was this transformative experience that led Finney to abandon his pursuit of a law career. When a client came to inquire about the status of his case the next morning, Finney responded that the man would need to find someone else to assist him. He had decided to leave the legal profession behind to embark on a new journey as a preacher of the gospel. His decision to preach was not a hasty one. His commitment was so strong that the St. Lawrence Presbytery took notice and took him under their care. In December of 1823, Finney was licensed to preach. A few months later, in March of 1824, the Female Missionary Society of Western New York commissioned him as a missionary to Jefferson County. His path was set, his new career was launched. So began the remarkable career of Charles Finney, a man destined to leave a lasting imprint on American religion. His journey from a law student to a powerful preacher, driven by a dramatic conversion experience, is a testament to the power of personal transformation and the call to serve a higher purpose. Finney's early days as a preacher were filled with challenges and personal milestones. As he began his journey into ministry, he found himself preaching in the frontier communities of Upper New York State. These were small towns, brimming with hardworking folks, who were not always receptive to Finney's unique approach to preaching. His theology, which seemed to challenge the prevailing Calvinist views of the time, was met with mixed reactions. Yet, undeterred by the criticism and steadfast in his faith, Finney continued preaching, refining his message to resonate with the hearts of his listeners. While his early ministry was marked by trials and tribulations, it was also a time of personal joy and fulfillment. In October of 1824, Finney's life took a delightful turn. He married Lydia Andrews, a woman of faith from Whitestown, New York. Lydia provided Finney with the emotional support he needed during this challenging phase of his life, as well as a companionship that would last a lifetime. Just a year later, in 1825, Finney and Lydia embarked on a journey to Whitestown to visit Lydia's parents. On their way, they decided to stay over at the home of George Gale, Finney's former pastor, in the town of Western New York. Gale, 
knowing of Finney's newfound passion for preaching, requested him to deliver a sermon. Finney agreed, not knowing that this would be a pivotal moment in his career. As he preached, the results were immediate and dramatic. The crowd was moved by his words, with many seeking his help in securing assurance of their own conversion. It was clear that Finney's message was resonating with the people, marking the beginning of a change not just in his own life but in the spiritual landscape of the region. Little did Finney know his visit to Whitestown would mark a significant turn in his career. A simple overnight stay at a former pastor's home resulted in a dramatic shift in Finney's life and ministry. Gail requested Finney to preach during their stay, an invitation that would prove to be a pivotal point in Finney's career. When Finney agreed and stepped up to the pulpit, the response was immediate and dramatic. His words resonated with the crowd, a kind of spiritual magnetism that drew people in droves. His preaching was different, it was passionate, it was personal, it was all about a direct relationship with God, challenging the prevailing Calvinist doctrine of predestination. The reaction was unprecedented. Many in the crowd sought Finney's counsel, desiring to obtain assurance of their conversion. The experience was profound not just for the people who listened, but for Finney himself. It was a clear indication that his calling was far from the quiet parish life he had envisioned. His message was powerful, his style was unique and his impact was undeniable. The success at Gale's home wasn't a one-time wonder. Finney took his dynamic and transformative preaching to the towns of Utica and Rome, New York. The response was similar if not more overwhelming. His sermons sparked a spiritual fervor that swept through the towns, drawing people from all walks of life. His message of salvation, repentance, and personal holiness resonated with the people, leading many to a deep and personal conversion experience. Finney's revivalistic career had truly launched, marking the beginning of a significant chapter in American religious history. His commitment to his divine calling, his innovative preaching style, and his ability to connect with people on a personal level all played a pivotal role in shaping the future of American Christianity. This was a turn of events that would see Charles Grandison Finney become a key figure in the Second Great Awakening and a major influence in American religious thought. Finney's influence began to spread far and wide, starting with the region that came to be known as the Burned Over District. This term, coined by historian Whitney Cross, referred to the western and central regions of New York State in the early 19th century, which were repeatedly swept by religious revivals of the Second Great Awakening. During this time, Finney's preaching ignited the hearts and minds of those who heard him. His unique approach to conversion and evangelism sparked a spiritual flame that swept across the region. He believed in the potential for every individual to be converted, a stark contrast to the Calvinistic doctrine of predestination prevalent at the time. This idea resonated with many, leading to widespread religious fervor. Finney's revivals were not confined to the burned over district. His influence began to ripple outwards, reaching beyond the borders of New York State. His fiery sermons and charismatic personality attracted large crowds wherever he went. His meetings were often marked by emotional outpourings, with many attendees claiming to have experienced profound religious transformations. Finney's ministry was not without controversy. His methods, particularly his use of the anxious bench where those feeling the conviction of sin could come for prayer, were criticized by some as manipulative. Yet, despite the controversy, or perhaps because of it, his influence only grew. He became an instrumental figure in the broader Second Great Awakening, leaving a lasting impact on American Christianity. His teachings also had a significant social impact. Finney was a staunch abolitionist and supporter of women's rights, and his preaching often reflected these views. His ministry served as a catalyst for social reform, inspiring many of his followers to take up causes of social justice. In the span of his lifetime, Charles Finney, a man of humble beginnings, had become a powerful force in American religion. His legacy, both controversial and commendable, continues to resonate within the annals of American religious history. Charles Finney's impact on American religion was profound and far-reaching. After his early years as a revivalist, he moved into education, becoming a professor and eventually the president of Oberlin College in Ohio. This wasn't just any college but a unique institution that rejected the prevailing norms of the time. Oberlin was the first college in America to admit women and African Americans, reflecting Finney's belief in equality and social justice. Beyond his role in education, Finney also made waves with his controversial doctrine of Christian perfection. He challenged the common belief that humans were inherently sinful and could never fully overcome their sinfulness. Instead, Finney preached that individuals could reach a state of perfection where they no longer desire to sin. 
This doctrine, sometimes referred to as entire sanctification, was met with both admiration and criticism. But regardless of the controversy, it was a testament to Finney's innovative thinking and his determination to challenge the status quo. Finney's influence didn't stop at the doors of his college or the borders of his own denomination. His teachings and methods were adopted by many other religious leaders and movements, reshaping the landscape of American Christianity. His emphasis on personal conversion, his innovative revival techniques, and his doctrine of Christian perfection all left an indelible mark on American religion. But perhaps the most lasting legacy of Charles Finney is the spirit of activism and social reform that he instilled in his followers. He was deeply committed to the abolitionist cause, and he inspired many of his students at Oberlin to become leaders in the fight against slavery. His teachings on Christian perfection also influenced the emerging women's rights movement, as he argued that all individuals, regardless of gender, could attain spiritual perfection. Charles Grandison Finney's life and work continue to shape American Christian thought, proving that he was, indeed, a truly remarkable man. So, who was Charles Grandison Finney? A man of humble beginnings, Charles Finney's life took a dramatic turn when he decided to abandon his law career to devote himself to the gospel. His dramatic conversion in the woods of New York State marked the beginning of a life entirely dedicated to the pursuit of spiritual truth and the propagation of the gospel. As a revivalist, Finney's unconventional preaching style stirred up both admiration and controversy. His theologies challenged the prevailing ideas of his time, bringing a fresh perspective to conversion, evangelism, and personal holiness. His influence extended beyond the pulpit, leaving a significant impact on the field of education and the doctrine of Christian perfection. From the frontier communities of Upper New York State to the larger American society, Finney's message resonated with many, sparking a wave of spiritual revivalism that swept across the nation. In the end, Charles Finney was a man who challenged common ideas and reshaped American Christian thought, leaving a legacy that continues to resonate today. Finney's theology was certainly unique and played a significant role in shaping American Christianity. His belief in the potential of every individual to be converted was revolutionary at the time. He preached that everyone, regardless of their past actions or current circumstances, could experience a spiritual rebirth through acceptance of the gospel. This emphasis on personal conversion, coupled with his innovative revival techniques, brought a fresh perspective to evangelism and personal holiness. Finney's new measures, including the anxious bench and protracted meetings, were instrumental in drawing people to his revivals. He believed in the power of emotional appeal, often using vivid imagery and dramatic presentation to convey his message. This unique approach stirred up both admiration and controversy, but there was no denying the impact it had on his listeners. Ultimately, Finney's message of personal conversion and spiritual awakening had a profound influence on spiritual revivalism and American Christian thought. His teachings inspired a wave of religious fervor that swept across the nation, leading to what we now know as the Second Great Awakening. And so, Charles Finney's theology and influence continue to shape American Christian thought. His legacy, a testament to his life of dedication and service, continues to resonate with many even today. He was indeed a man who challenged common ideas and reshaped the face of American Christianity. His teachings, especially his doctrine of Christian perfection, were often met with skepticism and criticism. Finney's belief in the possibility of living a sinless life, a concept he referred to as Christian perfection, was seen by many as unrealistic and even heretical. Critics argued that this doctrine set an unattainable standard for believers and distorted the Christian understanding of sanctification and grace. Furthermore, Finney's unconventional preaching style and theology also stirred up controversy. His embrace of emotional appeal and dramatic presentation was seen by some as manipulative and theatric, detracting from the solemnity and sacredness of the gospel message. His new measures, while successful in drawing crowds, were seen by many in the traditional religious establishment as unorthodox and inappropriate. These controversies inevitably had an impact on Finney's legacy. Some viewed him as a radical reformer who strayed from traditional Christian teachings, while others saw him as a visionary who breathed new life into American Christianity. Despite these controversies, the impact Finney had on American Christianity cannot be denied. His emphasis on personal conversion and spiritual awakening laid the groundwork for modern evangelism, and his teachings continue to inspire many, even today. Yes, Charles Finney was a man of controversy, but he was also a man of conviction whose influence continues to reverberate throughout American Christian thought.
As the years rolled on, Charles Finney's influence on American Christianity remained strong and unwavering. He stepped into the role of the president of Oberlin College in Ohio, a position he held from 1851 to 1866. Oberlin College was known for its progressive stance, being one of the first American colleges to admit both women and African-American students. Finney's leadership at Oberlin was marked by his commitment to social reform and his strong belief in the transformative power of Christian education. Even as he navigated the world of academia, Finney never strayed from his calling to preach. He continued to deliver powerful sermons and write extensively on theology further solidifying his place in the annals of American Christian thought. His books, such as Lectures on Revivals of Religion and Systematic Theology, remain influential texts in the study of Christian revivalism and theology. On August 16, 1875, Charles Grandison Finney breathed his last, leaving behind a legacy that would continue to shape the landscape of American Christianity. His teachings, his controversies, his commitment to social reform, and his unshakable belief in the transformative power of personal conversion, all contributed to the indelible mark he left on American Christian thought. Finney's life may have ended, but his work and influence live on, continuing to inspire and challenge believers even today. Finney's theology was certainly unique and played a significant role in shaping American Christianity. His belief in the potential of every individual to be converted was revolutionary. It was a dramatic shift from the prevailing Calvinist doctrine of predestination, and it challenged the status quo, stirring controversy and debate. He introduced innovative revival techniques such as the anxious bench and protracted meetings. These methods were designed to evoke an emotional response leading to a personal and profound spiritual awakening. His approaches were radical for the time, yet they've had a lasting impact, shaping the way we understand and practice revivalism even in modern times. Finney's message of personal conversion and spiritual awakening was not just a theological concept, it was a call to action. He believed that the new birth was not a passive event, but a conscious and deliberate choice. This emphasis on personal responsibility and transformative change resonated with many and significantly influenced American Christian thought. He was, indeed, a man who challenged common ideas and reshaped the face of American Christianity. The echoes of Finney's teachings can still be heard today, a testament to his enduring influence. His theology, his methods, and his fervent belief in the transformative power of faith continue to inspire and provoke thought, reminding us of the revolutionary spirit that marked his extraordinary life and ministry. Even as the years rolled on, Charles Finney's influence on American Christianity remained strong and unwavering. His presidency at Oberlin College, one of the first American colleges to admit both women and African Americans, cemented his progressive stance. He used his position to champion for social justice, advocating for abolition and women's rights. This was a reflection of his belief in the perfectibility of man and society, a theme that echoed throughout his teachings. His writings, including his influential lectures on revivals of religion, continued to shape the theological landscape. Despite the controversies, Finney never wavered from his beliefs. He held steadfast to his conviction that salvation was within everyone's grasp and that the church had a crucial role to play in societal reform. His teachings, his writings, and his commitment to social justice continue to inspire and challenge believers even today, a testament to the enduring power of his vision. Thank you for watching Hall of Faith. Please subscribe, comment, like, share, and press the notification button.